Welcome to the video where we show you how to set up the book database application example. In this video we'll learn how to add a database driver to a web application and review creating some Java packages. Let's first create our application in Eclipse and add the driver. File, New, Dynamic Web Project. Let's give the project a name. Let's call it Sci Fi database hit finish. The Project Explorer we can expand and we can see the web content folder where we'll put our JSP components in any web type files such as images or videos or CSS. In the source folder we'll create some packages to hold our server-side Java classes. Whenever we work with a web application that's going to connect to a database, we want to do a few things before we actually start coding. One is we need to make sure that our database server is on and running. Here I am in MySQL Workbench, which is my preferred way to get a connection started. I'm going to select the server administration. I already have a server loaded. I just need to get it running. Double-click it, and I'll continue you notice that my server is currently stopped. So I'm going to start the server. After a moment it should start and it may ask you for your password so I will type mine in. You can currently see on the screen that the server is running. This means whatever connects to this server will be able to look at it and work with the databases on this server. The next thing you need to do in order to connect and translate the commands from JDBC to the MySQL database server, we need to add a driver. I'm going to do this in two steps. First, I'll import the driver file so that it's part of my project. This is not always necessary, but it's nice if you think you may be moving your project around. For instance, if you're going to upload it to a, a real server later. I'm going to find a convenient folder to store it in. One nice folder in Dynamic Web Projects is the Lib folder, which you'll find under the Web Imp folder in Web Content. Expand to find that, and then right-click on Lib and choose Import. Now it's important here that we remember where we downloaded the Connector J driver to our system. We'll select File System, and we'll browse to find that. I've stored mine within a folder under Documents called MySQL Files, and it's stored in the MySQL Connector J directory. I may select that, and I can see that the actual connector is shown over here, this jar file, the MySQL Connector Java. So I'm going to hit Finish. And what we should see in the live folder now is that the driver has been imported as part of our project. So the file has basically been copied to our project folder. The next thing we need to do is make sure that this is kind of registered with our project so that it knows that this jar is going to be used. Right click on the project name, select Build Path and configure Build Path. And then make sure that the Libraries tab is selected. What we need to do is add MySQL connector jar to this set of libraries. You notice it's not listed here. We can do that by add jars. If you have not imported the driver to your project, you can also add external jars. The danger here is if you ever move your project, the path to that external jar will be broken. By importing first, we should ha always have a correct path. So I'm going to add jars, click on that, Notice I see that my sci-fi database is here. I'm going to expand until I find the jar file, which I loaded into the lib folder under web content. Highlight it and select OK. Now we see that's added to our library. Select OK. So at this point, the driver has been added to our web application. Database server is running, and we're almost ready to code. To finish setting this up, we're going to set up a few packages in order to organize our project a little bit better. Before we set up the packages in the project, let's quickly review our design diagrams. We have one model class called Book. We'll organize this by creating a model package to store this in. 
we see in each of the use cases, we use the book class, but we also have a servlet, JSP, and a database helper. We're going to put the database helper classes in a separate package. We'll call them DB helper or something along those lines. And the other thing that goes under the source are our servlets. Servlets we'll put in a controllers package. The other component we see here is a JSP, and JSPs, as you know, go into the web content folder. If we look at our other use cases, we'll see that all of the items listed are either the book class, which will be in the model, servlet, which will be in our controllers package, or database helpers, which we'll put in a DB helper package. So back now in Eclipse, the final thing we'll do just to set up our project is to add some packages to the Java source folder. Right click on Java source resources, select new, let's put package. The first one we'll call model. This is where we'll store our book class. Once more, right click on Java resources, new, and select package. Let's call this one controllers. This is where we'll store our servlets. Finally, right click once more on Java Resources, select New, Package. Let's call this one DB Helpers. This is where we'll put classes which are going to make the actual queries onto the database. And select Finish. In this video, we've seen how to add a database driver to a web application. Now we'll only need to do that once, so our project has the driver and we won't need to do that again. We've also reviewed how to create some Java package so that we can organize the server-side Java classes into folders. This has been a Piercy production.